Now, as the story developed, I began to formulate a, a vision for the entire project. You've already heard me talk about the fact that I created a website with original artwork designed by a guy in Germany uh, who created the bomb blast images that you've seen all over my uh, website and my primary movie artwork. Um, and I continued doing this, basically, and I got further and further on into the project, and then I spoke, was speaking to my brother about where to take this next, and uh, he'd been in the music industry, and uh, I said, well, what can I do next? He said, well, why don't you make a demo? And I said, well, is that possible? So I started to talk to my uh, contacts that I'd developed in the game, and they said, yeah, absolutely, people do this all the time. So I started to create and put money aside for a sizzle tape, as we call it, or a teaser trailer uh, that I wrote. Um, I found a filmmaker in Germany to make this. I went over to Germany. I wrote the screenplay. I found out what we could do, what we couldn't do, and we shot the trailer before taking uh, the finished goods to the Toronto Film Festival in 2011, where I hawked the project around to try uh, and gain some interest and build awareness for my story. Now, the funny thing about the Toronto Film Festival, aside from being the first festival I had ever been to, um, as I was walking the poster and the teaser trailer around, all sorts of film buyers would come up to me and go, what's this, Ron? What's this first poster you've got here? And I said, well, it's a spy story that I'm, I'm trying to sell. And they said, can we see it? So I got the poster out, showed them it, and every one of them went, wow, this is amazing. Can we buy this? And I was going, hey, steady on, guys. This, is, uh, this isn't a done, done film. It's not made yet. Um, it's in the process of being made. Um, and they said to me, uh, get yourself some cast, get yourself a director, make the movie, and we'll buy it off you. Now, ever since uh, the Toronto Film Festival, uh, goes without saying, I didn't raise the finance there, but uh, I've been working to finesse the script, building a team from all over the world to uh, put the film together. And um, we're going pretty well. Um, I wouldn't say, I would say it's not terribly long before the film hits the screen, but uh, that then is the story of how the Melissa Tree, as I hope you'll see it in a few years' time on the big screen, came about.